Well, hey, neighbor, it's me, Angie. Come on in. It's time for our neighborhood chat. Yeah, it's time. Well, I'm still without internet. I don't have internet. I am having to go outside of my home to go live on YouTube. I may do that later on this afternoon. I'm not really sure because it's supposed to start raining again. So I never know. So bring your uh, umbrellas, put your rain jacket on, drive on over to my corner of the world and let's just have her chat. A lot's been going on. Uh, we've been having bad thunderstorms. Uh, my Wi-Fi's been off for almost two weeks. They won't be here till Saturday to check on it. Living without you, uh, Wi-Fi and being able to go to uh, YouTube on my television. Now, I can go on YouTube on my phone, but and it goes in and out depending on uh, how the LTE uh, signal around my neighborhood is working. But enough about that. How have you all been doing? I've been doing great. Oh, yeah. Don't forget. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. So here we go. This is our neighborhood chat. People are coming in. Get your snack, your drink. Welcome. Welcome to my home. Grab a seat. We're in the dining room today. James is working days. I decided to do this video today because our sweet Berkeley, our granddaughter, will be here tomorrow. And she will be staying a few days. So I knew I would not be able to do a video because you all know she has my undivided attention. Anyway, let's talk about who we are, who we want to be, who we are becoming, how other people see us, how we see ourselves. It's so important in my life, and I don't know how important it is in your life, but it's so important to me to make sure that I am growing and maturing and causing others to reflect on their life through my growth. Not in a bragging way for me to say that, but as someone to let them know that they're loved, they're wanted, they're needed, they're meant to be here. You're meant to be here. I mean, let's think about this. If you was not here, if you were not here, let's get the English correct. If you were not here, you would, your time would be up. But since you're here, that means you have a job to do. You have a journey to be on and travel and experience. You know, and see things and do things and meet people. And with the access of YouTube, you can meet a lot of different people. Now, the community that I belong to is a wonderful community. I could start naming all YouTube channels that have just been wonderful for me. But I would leave someone out, and I don't want to do that. But I love each and every one of the people that are in my community. So, when you wake up in the mornings, what what is your first thoughts? How do you begin your day? That's what you got to think about. Do you begin it on a positive note or are you down and out all the time? Well, let's try to change our perception if we're down and out. I can understand that. I used to suffer from depression myself. But then, life, I realized life is too short. 
I'm almost 60 years old. I'm way over the hill. So I'm on the very tail end of my life. I want to make the best of it. So why not start in your early years and make the best of it? Don't wake up bitter, angry, with a grudge, mad at someone on YouTube. One day you're your, they're your friend, the next day they aren't. Oh, they did something to you. Forgive them and go on. You know, forgiveness is not a, for them, it's for you. Don't live in a hardened state. You know, like your heart is hardened, your attitude, and people can tell when you're faking. I mean, if you have an unloving personality, but yet still you try to pretend that everything's fine and you love everyone and Oh my goodness, you're just holier than thou. People can recognize that. People can recognize when you're playing games. They might not ever say anything, but they can recognize it. So be authentic. Be who you are. That's what I love about people. I love eccentric people. I love people that no matter how different they are according to the world standards, they are just who they are. I can accept that. I love that. I love to have conversation with people like that, to know their thought process, to let them know, I accept you. I love you. God made you just like he made me. He's not a respecter of persons. He doesn't favor one person over the other, nor should we. Now, I know that we have people that we love more than we love someone else. And that's that fleshly kind of love that wants to possess or claim ownership to things. But real love is a choice. And it doesn't have to be that ooey-gooey feeling. It can be, I love you. I respect you. I understand you. I may not agree with you all the time. And you may not agree with me all the time. But I can still love you. How? Because... I know that God did this when he walked on on the earth. And we're supposed to strive to be more like him. In my faith, that's what we believe. Striving to be more like Jesus is what I strive to be every day. I try not to think ill will toward anybody no matter how they've treated me and believe me it's hard it's hard sometimes but I always try to keep myself focused on where I'm headed where my goals are where my positivity is and where I need to be I want to be where I'm supposed to be at the right moment, because I believe that every step we take is ordained by God. He knows where we're gonna be, when we're gonna be there, and what we need to do. And we need to be there. Someone may be there that needs a word of encouragement, a pick me up, may need to be defended. Someone's attacking them. You know, there's a lot of bullies here on, on YouTube, lots of them. And oh my goodness, the drama. Oh my goodness, the drama. How people can wake up with so much drama and really love it 
and the lies. Oh my goodness, the lies. How people can lie so much, I I don't know. They have liabilities. It just flows out. Their level of lying has just went way past who would ever thought. And why lie? I mean, I could come on here and just fabricate anything to you all. But why would I want to do that? Oh, my goodness. And they lie about illnesses that they have. Oh, believe you me. I don't want any of this disability I have. I surely wouldn't make it up if I didn't have it. No way. I don't want this. But I have to deal with it on a daily basis. And then you have some people that just choose to make up illnesses. How sick is that? When there are really people out there suffering from bad things. They have children that are suffering from illnesses that'll never be cured. Yet they go on with their lies and their fakeness and their uh, pretend to be happy when they're not. Why don't you just say, I'm not happy. When you're not happy. What's so hard about that? I don't feel worthy. Why don't you just say that? Once it comes out of your mouth, then you can begin to change the way you feel. But as long as you keep it in and pretend that you're something you're not, you're always going to be a person that is deceptive. People think that looking good for YouTube makes them who they are. No. Being authentic makes you who you are. Being a person that says, I fail every day. I don't do the right thing sometimes. Stop trying to be so perfect and just be who you are. Do you even know who that is? Find out. And you know what? In 10 years, you won't be the same person that you are today. It's like a caterpillar kind of going through the stages of turning into a butterfly. They don't stay the same because if they did, they would never hatch into a butterfly. They have to go through a process of change. Allow yourself to go through that process of change and become the person that you're supposed to be and someone that's mature enough to help someone else become who they're supposed to be. Don't always expect you to get all the attention. You know, you have these people on YouTube that just comes in the chats and it has to be all about them. No matter if it's an auction, if it's a show and tell, if it's a, a serious conversation like uh, Ella and I keeping it real, our, our show on every other Sunday night, people just jump in there and say something that's going on in their life and not speak to anybody. It just amazes me that so many people want attention. And I'm not talking about young people. I'm talking about older adults that just want the limelight. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Sit back and let someone else have a moment. Let them have their moment. Quit trying to take over everybody's live channel, talking about what's going on with you and how many videos you've done and you're planning on doing yada, yada, yada. No. Engage in the conversation that's going on. And if you're asked, tell it. If not, make a video on your channel and tell everything that you're doing. Don't use everybody else's channel to do that. Now, 
I do speak of my grandbabies a lot. You all know how much I love my children and grandchildren. Family is very, very important to me. I've always wanted the close family unit that I have now. And James, our family is growing. You know, it started off with James and myself back in 1987. Then we had our two children. Then they brought their spouses in, made it larger. Now we have two grandbabies, another one due in October. So our family is just growing, growing, growing. And where are James and I? We're at the top. There's nobody above us. So, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Being up there, knowing that you made all these little people and they are part of who I am. How can I not love them? Embrace the people around you and love them. You won't be disappointed. They'll love you back. And if they don't, they're not supposed to be in your life. Find the people that will love you for who you are. You deserve that. You deserve it. You're not ugly. You're not unlearned. I mean, though someone doesn't speak like you, so be it. They don't look like you. So be it. We all have flaws. I mean, my goodness, I'm a hundred pounds heavier than I was about five years ago. Am I happy about that? No, but I can't control it. Steroids have caused the problem, but I'm alive. And I, I would like to believe that they have kept me alive longer than I was supposed to be. So you take the good with the bad. But I'm here to tell you, look in the mirror and say, I love you. Point to yourself. Love yourself. And people will love you. And when people don't accept you, tell them bye. Do you know how many people are on YouTube that you could be a part of their community? Don't let anyone intimidate you and make you think that you'll need them and you can't live without them. You can. You can. Always remember, hold who you are close. Don't share yourself with everybody. Don't just spill who you are to the first person you find on YouTube that pretends to be your friend. Hold it back until you know that they're truly your friend. And with that being said, neighbor, this has been our neighborhood chat. Like, share. Subscribe. Ring that bell so you'll know I'm coming to you with another video. Bye, neighbor.